Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm at Shelfanger, just outside Church House. As you can see, sort of the classic Victorian style house. As you pan up the street, other side of the road is hedging and fencing. And the house is nicely set back. It's one of those surprising properties because the front doesn't really give you um, full impression of actually what you've got in store. We're going to go around the outside first of all and then uh, we'll have a look around the back. So the driveway gives plenty of parking, could create more driving uh, driveway space where I've just been. And you see we've got the back of the original part of the house there and then we've got this extension on the back which adds so much extra to the property. Whole lot's about 0.4 of an acre so it's quite generous and on the back here you've got what's a converted barn, lovely seated area with a loggia and then this extensive garden runs right the way down the back here. Got the pond with the bulrushes, has a good wildlife area as well. Fruit trees at the side and a children's swing and play area right at the back. What the property backs onto is a further field that's not owned but uh, it's about 2.3 acres and uh, can possibly be rented. It's uh, diocesan land. But it just gives you an idea that there's nothing untoward behind you either. So that's the field. Got a good store and st all stable block here. It's a lovely long garden. Great thing about seeing a house at this time of year is, in many ways you're seeing it at its worst. No leaves, it's like a cold day. But come springtime, when all these leaves are out, uh, A, you get a lot more privacy, and uh, secondly, you get all that colour. So there it is from the back. Got another useful big storage area on the back of the property as well for the lawn mowers, anything else you need around there. What we'll now do is just take you around the side here and we'll go in through the side door. In through this bit and we'll pop inside. So we're inside the hall, and straight away you can see the character here. There's lovely style radiators, the pamet floor, really lovely colour as well. And uh, what we can do, I'm going to take the, the house sort of in two parts almost. So I'm going to start at this end, um, and straight away, this is their new kitchen. Look at this. Painted boarded floor, contemporary style. And on a day like today, you've got the wood burner in the corner, which I'm very grateful for, because it's, it's been a foggy old day. So it's vaulted. You've got the mezzanine there. And uh, Arga as well, in the pale powder blue. So just to give a view from this side as well. A room you can spend hours and hours in. And off it, for those of you young children, this is ideal. You have a playroom here, but of course it could be all sorts of things. So a views out into the garden. We've already seen around outside. And you've also got this wonderful mezzanine, which will go up while we're at this part. So this could be a children's area, could be a work area, 
all sorts. And then you get the view down into the kitchen again. So back down the stairs we go. Heading back through the kitchen. Got a cloakroom to the side. Spacious uh, pantry area, utility. Room for the big fridge. A nice, easy, clean area with the traditional pavement floors. Across this side, we have a little lobby. And this area was used as a, a b and It makes a fantastic ground floor bedroom. And you've got the shower room here, as you see. And then you have this ground floor bedroom. Ideal as a B&B, because you've got separate uh, external door to the side there. And plenty of room. You've got bunk beds and a double bed in here. However, if you're looking to space for work from home, this would be absolutely superb. You've got your own separate door to it. So now we're going into the front part of the house. We already have home office here. There you go, exposed ceiling timbers again. A lot of character. And across the other side of the hall, got the boot room, where you can hide everything away. And you've got this lovely worn brick floor. It's got a slope in there from the years of walking through. And then on the front, We've got two very traditional style um, living rooms with a pretty fireplace on there, with a tiling on that. A very deco feel about it. So these are sort of two more formal, cosy rooms. One that side and one this side. We've got a lovely contrast of styles in here. Again, the fireplace, pretty fireplace again. Look at the tiling on there with a reed warbler. And we go around to the front door. One of those things that's probably little used in reality, like most front doors, but that opens directly into the stairs that rise up and we'll go upstairs now. So, bedroom to my left. Painted boarded floor. Super bright room. Can't sit well today because the fog's come down. But you've got views across the fields there. Uninterrupted. And this room is plenty big enough to be a double. Sweet little bedroom fireplace again. Across the other side we go to what's used as the master bedroom. And built in cupboard to the side. This is a lovely warm house. Today it's about minus two outside. This is super toasty in here. Bedroom on the back, one of the children's rooms. Nice little character room, this one. Bedroom is pretty good too. I'm 6'4", can stand up uh, quite comfortably through most of it. Just a little slope at the edge there. And then we go through to the bathroom. The bathroom's all very well fitted, the white suite Pedestal basin, loo, and very good size shower. 
with some funky tiling. So that's what we have for you. It's church, ha church house at Shelf Hanger. Really good quality house. Lots of character. Beautiful mix of old and new. And just as a reminder, I'll take you back through and leave with a view of the kitchen. It's a spacious property. And if you want a view, give us a call on 01379 641 341 or send an email to us, which is prop at twgaze.co.uk.